The SNP was accused of living in a fantasy world over its independence demands and dream of joining the EU outside of the UK. Hamza Yousaf's SNP is ignoring its own brutal failings by publishing a new white paper on how an independent Scotland would seize control of British fishing waters, a campaigner has warned. A report aiming to outline how an independent Scotland's marine sector would thrive and grow was published by the SNP yesterday. The 47-page document, the eighth in the series, follows on from it. It argues Scotland's marine sector has significant further potential, but that potential can only be reached if we have the full powers to give the sector the support it needs and the prioritisation it deserves. But Pamela Nash, chief executive of Scotland in Union, claimed Scottish ministers were crassly ignoring the impact quitting the UK. She said, like all the other papers in this series, the latest document fails to assess the impact on Scotland of leaving Britain. We should all be incredibly proud of our exports, but it's negligent not to acknowledge that by far the most important market is the rest of the UK. That is how separation would impact Scotland's economy most, and yet ministers, by deliberately leaving this out of their assessments, are crassly ignoring it. This paper also repeats many of the fantasies set out in the EU paper last week and doesn't offer Scots any assurances on how mem and island communities, described as integral, in this report, will be disappointed that a paper about the marine sector doesn't acknowledge the Scottish government's brutal failing of the ferries network, or how a separate Scotland would run it any better. It must be noted the bill for these papers is being footed by us, the taxpayers. Enough is enough. It's time for the people's priorities.